नमस्कार दोस्तों आप सभी का स्वागत है हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस आवर सीसी स्लैब डिजाइन एंड इट्स डिटेलिंग गाइड एंड स्पेसिफिकेशन रीफ कट क्राइटेरिया सो आवर सीसी स्लैब डिजाइन एंड डिटेलिंग गाइडलाइन फॉर डेप्थ ऑफ स्लैब्स लोड ऑन स्लैब रीइंफोर्समेंट गाइड फॉर वन वे एंड टू वे स्लैब्स have been tried to present here following are the rcc slab design and detailing guidelines so rcc slab guidelines so first point is if we move our slide effective span of slab effective span of slab shall be lesser of the two so it must satisfy both the first and second conditions okay so first condition is length is equal to clear span plus small d small d is nothing but the effective depth and the second condition is that length is equal to center to center distance between the supports so this is the way you can calculate the effective span of slab this comes under the guideline point number 1 now we move on to point number 2 that is the depth of slab so the depth of a slab depend upon the bending moment and deflection criteria depth of slab depend upon the two factors first one is bending moment and the second one is deflection criteria the trial depth can be obtained using one of the following points given below so now we will see the following points which are given below effective depth that is small d is equals to span divided by l by d basic into modification factor for obtaining modification factor the percentage of steel for a slab can be assumed from 0.2% to 0.5% so this is the percentage value which you have to take for the modification factor when you have to multiply with the span by l by d ratio the effective depth small d of two way slab can also be assumed using clause according to indian standard 24.1 is 456 provided short span is 3.5 meter and loading class is 3.5 kilo newton per meter square it should be less than in it what are the what are the different types of support we can take we can see below the points type of support that is fe 250 FE 415 simply supported type of support simply supported and the grade of steel we will take FE 250 and FE 415 these two will take for the simply supported as well as the continuous support in simply supported the ratio is L by 35 and L by 28 and for the continuous support it is L by 40 and L by 32 or the following thumb rules can be used for the one way slab the formula is given as one way slab small d equals to l by 22 to l by 28 two way simply supported slab small d is given as l by 20 to l by 30 two way restrained slab is given as l by 30 to l by 32 now the third point you will see that is the load on a slab you can see this diagram i'll try to explain the load on a slab comprises of dead load floor finish and live load the loads are calculated per unit area that is load per meter square the dead load is calculated as d into 25 kN per meter square where d is the thickness of a slab in meter 
floor finish will assume as 1 to 2 kN per meter square. Live load will be assumed as 3 to 5 kN per meter square depending upon the occupancy of the building. Norm will move who are the points that will cover the detailing requirements of RCC slab as per Indian code IS456-2000. What is the nominal cover? For mild exposure, we use 20 mm. For moderate exposure, we use 30 mm. However, if the diameter of the bar do not exceed 12 mm, or cover may reduce by 5 mm. Thus, for mean reinforcement up to 12 mm diameter bar and for mild exposure, the nominal cover is 15 mm. Now we will move on to the next point that is the minimum reinforcement. The reinforcement in either direction in slab shall not be less than 0.515% of the total cross-sectional area for Fe 250 grade of steel or you can say mild steel and 0.12% the total cross-sectional area for HYSD steel high yielding variety of steel bars that is Fe 415 and Fe 500 steel bars. Now we will move on to the next point that is the spacing of bars. The maximum spacing of bars shall not exceed main steel 3D or 300 mm whichever is smaller. Now the distribution of steel 5D or 450 mm whichever is smaller where D is the effective depth of slab. Note the minimum clear spacing of bars is not less than 75 mm, preferably 100 mm, though code do not recommend any value. Now the last one we will discuss maximum diameter of bar. The maximum diameter of bar in slab shall not exceed D by 8, where D is the total thickness of slab. So this is the whole procedure. For the RCC slab design and detailing guide and its specification brief criteria. If you like this video, click on the bell icon of our YouTube channel. Do subscribe and share with your civil engineering friends so that they get latest news on our video lectures that are free for the civil engineers of any field, site, or office so that we can spread more knowledge and among the talented people who want to learn free not spending money anywhere in the institute thank you very much jai hind